Hey everyone, welcome back. Today, we're diving into the latest release from Stability AI, the Stable Diffusion 3.5 models, both the large and turbo versions. After the massive flop of the Stable Diffusion 3 media model, Stability AI is back with something new, and we're here to find out if it's really worth the hype. Can SD 3.5 compete with the likes of SDXL and Flux models? Let's get into it. But before we do, I'm going to guide you real quick on how to install both SD 3.5 large and turbo large models. Let's jump right in. First things first, head over to Stability AI's Hugging Face page. Before you can get access to the models, you need to have an account and also agree to their terms before downloading the weights. I didn't read the entire license, shame on me. However, it appears that this model is allowed for generating artworks and use in design and other artistic processes, which means normal users are safe. Applications in educational or creative tools, like what I'm doing in this tutorial video should also be fine, but I really advise you to read the entire policy. Okay, on the Files and Versions tab, you only need one file from here which is the SD 3.5 large.save tensors file. Download the file and place it in the Checkpoints folder inside the model's directory. Next, do the same thing if you want to use the Turbo model, which is equivalent to Flux Schnell model that works on just four steps. Save the file in the Checkpoints folder as well. The rest of the files you'll need are Clip L, Clip G, and the T5 text encoder XXL FP16, which I guess many of you already have. If not, you can download these files from the SD3 Medium Versions Hugging Face page and place them all in your clip folder inside the model's directory. Now let's jump into Comfy UI, and the first thing you need to do is update your web UI. Just use the manager to do that. Restart Comfy UI, and now you're ready to import the SD3.5 workflow. You'll find the link to the workflow in the description below. It's a really basic workflow, consisting of a checkpoint loader node, a triple clip loader node, and a K sampler. I'm using the default parameters for SD 3.5 large, which are 20 steps, a CFG of 5.5, and the Euler SGM uniform sampler. Let's generate our first image. The first thing you'll notice is that the SD 3.5 large model is a bit faster than FluxDev on 20 steps. Here's our first image generated. It looks decent with a basic prompt. But now, I'm going to quickly build a parallel flux dev workflow to generate the same image, so we can compare the two models back to back. All right, both workflows are ready. Let's run them and compare the two output images. Comparing the two images, Flux's output demonstrates notably superior photorealism with more natural lighting, better depth, and more convincing skin texture, particularly visible in the subtle shadows and highlights across the face and neck. The hair rendering in Flux appears more realistic, with natural-looking waves and dimension, while SD 3.5 hair looks more artificially smooth and stylized. Flux's image has a professional photography feel, with its sophisticated depth of field and atmospheric lighting, while SD 3.5 result has a more digital art or commercial illustration quality, with its flatter lighting and more airbrushed appearance. The red lipstick and facial features in Flux's version show more realistic texture and dimension, whereas SD 3.5 version appears more smoothed out and idealized. Overall, while both are high quality outputs, Flux's image achieves a significantly more photographic and natural result that could more easily pass for a real professional portrait. Okay, the next image is a candid shot of a young blonde woman in a black suit holding a handbag. While the SD 3.5 version has a more candid, natural pose and lighting with a slightly wider composition, the Flux version shows more refined details and professional fashion photography aesthetics. However, both images are remarkably photorealistic in their own ways. SD 3.5's version has a more casual, lifestyle photography feel, while Flux's version leans towards high-end fashion photography, with its more dramatic lighting, 
crisper details, and more glamorous styling of the same basic outfit. Next we have this photo. The SD 3.5 image has more natural and soft lighting with balanced exposure, highlighting the model's skin texture with a realistic tone. The background appears well lit, giving the entire image a more open and lifelike feel. On the other hand, the Flux image has a slightly more artistic and moody tone, with deeper shadows giving the model a more dramatic look. The overall feel of SD 3.5 is more natural, while Flux offers a stylized, refined look. Next, we have a case where SD 3.5 outshined Flux Dev. In this image, SD 3.5 features more natural lighting, resulting in softer, more realistic skin tones and a balanced look overall. The waterfall background is slightly more integrated into the scene, with the model blending naturally into her surroundings. The skin texture appears smooth, yet retains a level of detail, making the image feel authentic. The Flux image, on the other hand, presents a more vivid and polished aesthetic. The colors, especially in the floral dress, are more saturated and stand out more vibrantly. The skin texture is smoother, almost with a slight airbrushed effect, giving it a more stylized and refined appearance. The lighting in this image feels more enhanced, focusing on the model, making the scene feel slightly more staged or artistic compared to the more organic SD 3.5 image. In this next example, we can see the issues that are still present in stable diffusion models. In the SD 3.5 image, there are notable anatomical issues. The most prominent one is that the model appears to have six fingers on her left hand, which disrupts the realism of the scene. Additionally, the handbag is floating near the model's hand instead of being properly held, further detracting from the visual coherence. Another example where I really liked the outcome from SD 3.5 large. The SD 3.5 version presents a more subtle and natural look. The lighting is softer, which gives the scene a balanced and less vibrant appearance. The model's skin tone and the environment are portrayed realistically, though perhaps less vivid. The background architecture is slightly less emphasized, allowing the model to be the focal point. However, some details, especially around the facial features and hair, seem less sharp than in the Flux image. In contrast, the Flux image has a much more vivid and bright appearance. However, this added vibrancy may feel less natural and more stylized compared to the more organic feel of the SD 3.5 image. Okay, now to switch to SD 3.5 Turbo, equivalent to Flux Chanel. All you need to do is change the checkpoint model and also lower the steps in the K-sampler to 4 and the CFG to 1.2. The generation process is really fast, and you can generate decent images. This model is ideal for low VRAM GPUs and also for experimenting. That's it for today's tutorial. I guess we can all agree that Stability AI wants to stay strong in the AI image generative domain. We can see the full capacity of this model in the future, and I'll keep you updated, of course. For beginners who want to learn comfy UI and also create an AI influencer on social media, I have a 5 plus hour practical course that explains the entire process. Also, I have a membership for this YouTube channel that you can join to get all the resources, workflows, trained LoRa files, and direct support from me on your issues. Visit pixelailabs.com for more information. See you in the next video.